He flows out of your innermost being. Now, he can just flow straight out. He can do that, right? But generally, especially in healing, he comes out usually two ways. Number one, since you are filled with him, there's not one part of your body that doesn't have him in it, right? right? And it, Because why? Your spirit inhabits your body. If there's a part of your body that does not have your spirit in it, that part of the body is dead because the body without the spirit is dead. So if you had spirit everywhere in your body but except in your hand, your hand would wither up and die. Why? No life, no spirit. That should give you a clue where some people's problems are. If they have things wrong, it's because no life is going into that. Yeah. Right? Now, we might get a chance to talk about that. I don't know. But So you got this life. So the number one way that healing was released from Jesus, there's really two ways, but probably the most prominent and the way he told us to do it, was by the laying on of hands. So when you stretch forth your hand, his spirit fills your body because his spirit has filled your spirit, okay? And because of that, his spirit and your spirit are one spirit with the Lord. Is that correct? So you are one spirit with him. So wherever your spirit goes, his spirit goes. So if you stretch out your hand, your spirit has gone out. Guess where his spirit goes? So technically, actually, who's leading who? See, if I choose to do this, he's got to go with it. I, I can't stretch forth my hand and he'll go, nope, mm -mm, not going to do it. Mm -mm, no, not, because he's in there. Wherever I put my spirit, his spirit goes. And when I touch somebody and I decide to release my spirit, his spirit, you understand? Then that spirit flows out into that person. Now, what people don't understand about healing a lot of times is that it is not flesh on flesh. It's spirit to spirit. So when I lay hands on somebody, spirit goes into their spirit. It does not go into their flesh. <clears throat> Just like pouring water on a plant, you don't pour water on the leaves. You pour it in the roots. And then the water goes up through the roots and through the stalk and all that and out through the branches and into the leaves. Isn't it right? It's how you get healed. We put in, I put life into you, that spirit. It's the spirit of life. It is his life. We release life into you. It comes by way of the spirit, goes into your spirit, and then comes out. It goes in first, and then is seen on the outside. It goes into your spirit, and then, now here's the thing. If you're a Christian, especially, his spirit's already in there. And I got, I'll go ahead and tell you the secret. You don't need my hands. He's in you. What I've got is in you. Now, the, you say, then how come when we lay hands, how can people get healed? Usually it's because you don't know how to release your spirit. So when I release spirit into your spirit, it's like anything else. I could take this water right here and I could take this and take this and if I start pouring, what's going to happen? It's going to overflow, isn't it? And, and, if, and let's say this was, uh, let's just use some wild example, Coca-Cola. Right? Well, <laughs> that means it's, it's a darker color. Right? That's all I'm talking about, right? So we got, we got the uh, darker color in this. This is clear water, right? I'm going to turn around. This is going to be the dark. This is going to be the clear. How's that? I like that better, all right, as far as the illustration. So if this is dark, let's say it's all muddy, dirty water. This is clean water. So I'm going to take this off and I start to pour it in there. What's going to happen? It's going to overflow. If I keep pouring, all of that is going to overflow. And, all, and pretty soon, that's going to be just like this one. Why? Because this one forced that garbage out. That's what happens when I lay hands on you. The Spirit of God in my spirit goes into your spirit and you've already got the Spirit in you so all I'm doing is pushing, going under and pushing what's in you already in and out and your spirit in you, the Holy Spirit in you, pushes out your sickness and disease because your sickness and disease is not spirit. It is flesh. So it, the Spirit pushes into the flesh and pushes out of the flesh all of the sickness and disease. Amen? Have you got that? Yeah. 